this week we are uh, under the big tent. Which is the finale theme as the city of Savannah's summer camp comes to a close. It's definitely an honor and a pleasure working with these kids, but first of all, I'd like to thank the parents for entrusting the city of Savannah and the summer camp staff with their kids. Hi, my name is Chloe. But it's definitely a reward working with them, seeing them come in from week one to week eight and the different progression that they have made in the different activities and things like that that we do. We draw, we go swimming, we do all that crazy fun stuff. We have throw balloons at each other and all, it's fun. I just think it provided like a good safe environment. They got to try out different activities through the things that we've had. Swimming and um, playing with water. And we went over there where the light stuff are. <laughs> I think overall the kids have enjoyed it. I think the parents have enjoyed it. We've gotten good feedback so far. The kids are a little more active, so we as counselors and uh, as administrators just have to be a little more creative in our approach and finding activities and games that the kid can participate in. Activities and games that have changed over the years. Iris and Earl have combined for 15 years with the city with a focus on summer camp helping mentor our young ones. It's special to see them come back and just kind of grow up through the program. Over the years, where a kid may come in at six years old, and then when he become uh, 11 or 12, those kids are normally our leaders within the camp. Uh, they have experience, they know the staff, as well as the staff knowing not only the kids, but also the parents. So we try to keep the partnership between the, the, the staff, the campers, and the parent. We just try to keep that all in line, and it just definitely uh, progressed in a positive way over the years. Wrapping up another successful City of Savannah summer camp, this is Ken Slats for SGTV's City Span.